Alex is a very happy boy. Uh, very quiet. Doesn't speak, but you know what he's saying. I found out that Alex had hydrocephalus at my 13 week pregnancy scan. And then come 18 weeks, he was diagnosed. That was it, he had hydrocephalus. I actually didn't know who to turn to. I couldn't talk to anybody. I was numb. When Alex was born, we noticed abnormalities. We noticed that, that um, we were told that um, he was to go and have surgery. I think it was three days after. He got home maybe a month after and Spina Bifida Hydrocephala Scotland got in touch and asked if they could come out to meet Alex. They came and brought some toys over and played with Alex and really brought him on with um, his motor skills. SBH Scotland have given us emotional, physical support. Um, I've had support, financial support, filling out forms. I've had um, a shoulder to cry on recently, actually. I've had Tracy out countless of times filling out forms for me because um, I struggle to write out the forms especially when they're asking you questions you don't actually know. <laughs> With the hydrocephalus, Alex has cerebral palsy and that causes him to have tight joints, tight muscles. Um, it causes him not to be able to stand up. We actually got um, given a scoop, a firefly scoop from SBH Scotland and this has gave Alex the confidence and the skills to move around the house and it's actually gave him the confidence and the independence now in his real wheelchair. Every day is different. <laughs> um, some days we have good days and he's off to school and he's eating fine and then other days he's not eating at all, he's not drinking, he's been sick. So when we do get to go to SBH Scotland, it's like a break because we get to play and we get to try different crafts that we didn't, wouldn't really do at home and we get to meet new people in the same situation so you've got somebody to talk to. We are able to bring Emily along so she gets to play and interact with the other children. She enjoys going, Alex enjoys going. It gives you that peace of mind knowing that there's people there to talk to, you get, well, we've made some friends, we've had opportunities. If there was no SBH Scotland, I think I would be lost. I don't think we would know anybody with the same condition because I didn't know anybody before. I think it gives us an opportunity to meet new people, it gives us company. People come out and they spend time with you, there's somebody to talk to, they're a friend. Even just giving me half an hour well, they sit and they play with Alex while I give my daughter some attention because Alex does take up a, a lot of time by the time you do his physio and everything definitely helps out. I'm hoping with hard work he'll be walking. I see a bright future. I can see him talking or I can see him signing. I see a long future, but I see a happy one. I couldn't have asked for more support um, from the SBH Scotland for myself, my family and my son and that is why I encourage everybody to sponsor this charity. It's just amazing. <laughs>